the fourth. Fifth. Okay, box to the centre. Right, we've got a lot of infantry when you come to the pitch. You shouldn't use one knee, you can use the head, once on this. This is the map, and that goes straight away. Spinning back this is also loud. Any questions? Yeah, no questions. Okay, so we need to tighten off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our 12th bout of the evening is the final of our tournament, the tournament. Well, there we've seen both these two fighters in action already. We are Lucas Pianes representing Sentex Gym, fighting out of the red corner. I remember seeing him fight before, I remember he was quite slow, quite tentative, not wanting to waste any energy. He looked like he was preparing himself for the marathon of a fight days of tournament. And his opponent, Dominic Tuez. Had a very decisive victory and left absolutely nothing in reserve against his opponent. Oh, uh, my apologies again. Barris, <laughs> he's gonna watch this back on the DVD and think this guy just doesn't want to know my name. Anyway, as I say, Barris is quite tentative. He was. Uh, to waste anything in his bout earlier where I say Dominic Matus was completely the contrary. He was uh, business from start to finish. Everything was power, big shots with his hands, strong knees to the body. Let's see how this one plays out. Nice mid-section kick there for Barrett. Oh, just a slip there for Matus. Whoa. Quite frankly, I'm surprised we haven't seen that earlier in the night. Those ropes uh, seem a little bit slack. These guys just looking to find their range here. Both these guys just quite frantic, quite, again, quite a nervous energy at this point from both of these two. Frantically throwing. Barris, I remember in the, uh, the, bar the bout earlier that he had looking again, just nice and composed, picking his shots, being quite a rangy fighter, whereas now he just seems just a little bit off the stone from earlier. Yeah, it's a new opponent in front of him, it's a new challenge, it's a new situation that you've got to, uh, to figure out. Nice midsection kick there from Barris. Big shots there from Matus. Spinning back fist. Dangerous shot, but. Quite an explosive first round. Round two. <laughs> Bell sounding to get the second round underway here. Wilco Barris in the black shorts. Rio South, Dominic Matuez in the white shorts. Fighting out the blue corner, representing Aaron Jim. Similar to he did in the first bout. Working his range, looking a little bit more comfortable now. Picking those sharp shots from a distance. Dominic Matuez on the other hand trying to close in. Close that distance down, fight on his turn. Big shots to the body. So we 
Coco Barris again, that rangy kick, stepping back, stepping back, waiting until Matua steps into the range and then unleashing. Not seeing quite as many of those long range knees as he was pulling out in the previous fight. He's definitely scoring with the knees when he gets in close. Leading out of the way there. Don't make the two hours from that head kick. Swing that big right. Finding the target. And there's one of those rangy knees. Jumping knee there from Wilco Barras. Now he's scoring when he gets up close, but again, the referee just going to separate these two. Kicks from both of these two fighters here. Back into the corner of a barrel, springing straight back out. Again, these two ended up in the clinch quite frequently now. A little cut seems to have opened up on the nose, I think, of Dominic Matus. I think it's maybe under the eye, I'm not sure, I can't quite see from this angle. But there is some blood starting to appear on the face of Dominic Matus. We're coming close to the end of the round now. Let's take a closer look at that. Good round there, I think, for Wilco Barris. This is the third and final round of this fight, and this is the final round of the tournament. I'm not sure who's quite out in front there. I feel, I feel sort of warmer towards Wilco Barris so far. He's done a really great job remaining composed, very technical, sharp, picking everything really well. But I wouldn't want to leave it in the judges' hands off the amount of work that has gone into getting to this point tonight. Dominic Matuas getting some damage appearing on his face here. He's also going to want to be... Uh, making sure that he doesn't leave this in the judges' hands. And I think he's going to be looking for the finish here in the third round. He knows he's got nothing left to save his energy for. Has he got enough left in the bag? That's the question. Matuas just trying to find his way in whilst Wilco Barris is keeping him away. Those rangy teeps and push kicks. Matuas trying to stalk him, trying to close him down. Every time he gets too close, he's being pushed away with those sharp kicks. A spinning back kick there. A little bit too close to generate enough power, I think. Nice, strong turning kick to the midsection, though. Balance again, just slipping on that uh, canvas. Yeah, Wilco Barris looking comfortable here, looking really calm and controlled, looking composed. He's looked crisp, he's looked sharp, he keeps his distance, picks his shots. I think Dominic Matuas is doing a little bit more in terms of work rate here, but then again, it's a question of how successful is that work rate being. In there, that instance, quite nice. Turning kick to the right midsection there, finding his mark. Is it enough, though? Enough. Nice low kick there, set up beautifully. We see some more of this. We're in the closing moments. This fight is coming to an end. He's really going to have to do something to make himself stand out here. Both of these guys looking exhausted. Dominic Matuas, perhaps even more so. I mean, I'd say he 
He threw everything in, but the kitchen sink at it in the first fight. I can't blame him for feeling shattered by this point. You have to be a very, very fit man to get through a tournament format of fighting. There you go, you can hear the crowd in the background there. A lot of support here for Wilco Barras. They're all sensing that he's done enough. And we, as we come to the end of the fight, we will find out if he has. Thank you.